What's up my sexy studs, Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker tutorial. And today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making Snake the Game. Okay, now I know everybody has had to heard of it or play it or seen it or something. You got to know what you're seeing on the screen right here. And that's basically what we're making. Not that exact, um, but we're going to be making the concept of it where you've got you know, two blocks or you start with one block two blocks whatever and you eat this little cube and um, you get bigger in length and you know it gets harder to maneuver around and everything so basically I've made the snake here and what it is it's a 32 by 32 green block you know nothing nothing uh, too complex here so I'm gonna create an object for it I'm gonna call it O snake and I'm just gonna press ok real quick just because in HTML um, you have to press OK for it to save the the title. So I mean, I just do that real quick. So give it the sprite, and in the create event, we're going to set up some properties here, and uh, or some variables. So I'm going to say current ID equals zero, and we're going to set alarm zero to equal fifteen. Okay. Now this is going to be the speed at which our our snake is. So basically, you can base it off of this. Thirty ticks is one second. So basically, you're going to be moving two block spaces in, um, in one second. Okay, so that's that. And so let's create a new object and let's call it O controller. And this is basically our snake. Okay, now I said I I know that's a snake here and it is a little confusing, but in the create event, just set up some variables real quick. Global dot dir equals zero, and global dot length equals two we'll say now these are this is how you're going to control the snake with the control and everything this is just the snake block because obviously you have sorta of, you know you have a bunch of block snakes in there and you can't control all of them because you know it's a snake it has a head you won't be you don't want to move the body around so this is just you know uh, par part of the snake cube and we're going to be reusing this now basically what what I kind of think when I think of making a snake game is we're going to have the head and the head actually creates a block uh, depending on what direction you're in. So in the create event for our controller, global.dir, that stands for direction, right? And basically, I'm going to say this, direction, 0 equals right, 1 equals left, 2 equals up and three equals down. So if this equals two at any point, that, that means we're going up. Simple as that. So it, we're gonna go to alarm zero here because remember we, we started it by calling that. And in alarm zero, we're gonna check if current ID equals zero. Now I say equals equals because, I mean, you can just put equals, but in most languages, of programming there's a double equal even sometimes a triple equal but that won't work in game maker uh, but but this just this just means check you can just put one equal if you'd like but so if current ID is equal to zero so this basically means when our current ID equals zero that means it's the head of the snake so then I'm gonna create a switch statement now if you're not familiar with switch statements you can do this in if statements but I'm gonna say global dot dir and switch statements are pretty easy you just create cases here so case 0 break case 1 break case 2 break and case 3 break so I'm gonna kind of explain just real quick insight on how if statement works cases are basically saying this if global dot dir equals 0 it's the same thing as saying case zero. So this right here would be equivalent to this. And all and all the other ones too. So basically, since we set up in our controller, we commented in right here the directions. That's what our cases are gonna be. So I'll just put that in right there. So zero means we're going right. So if we're going right, we're going to say instance create x plus thirty-four. Y O snake. Copy that. Paste it. Paste it. 
paste it. So one is left, so we'll do minus. Three is, um, or two is up, so minus 34. <coughs> and three is down, so plus 34. And I do, I do 34 because there's a, a little gap. Yeah, so there's a little gap. Um, also, one thing in the create event, I'm going to move snap 32, 32. And that just creates a grid, so it stays in a grid form. And that's going to that's gonna you know be good when we start spawning in coins that we can collect. So basically, all of this is awesome. It's great. It's good. Now we need to say uh, else if our current ID is equal to global dot length minus one and I'm gonna put that in parentheses here just so it does that calculation before it does the if statement and basically we do minus one because we're checking if it's zero for the head and let me just show you what this does first so you can make sense so it's gonna destroy itself <clears throat> so essentially since we set our our length to two when it hits one when our, our ID hits one it's gonna destroy itself instead of create a new uh, block and basically we do minus one because we started zero if we started at current ID equals one you wouldn't have to put minus one so you can do that if you'd like but I'm just gonna set it to zero but then we're gonna say else current ID plus equals one and we're gonna set alarm zero back to 15 because we need to restart it so this is like okay so here let me put it up here as well and I'm gonna kind of run through what all of this is doing so basically when we when we first create so this is gonna be the head of the snake it's gonna run through this code here and <coughs> excuse me it's gonna run through this code and it's gonna set alarm back and it's gonna set current ID to one and it's gonna create a new snake head or whatever direction we're going but now current ID plus equals one so the next next time it comes around to this uh, alarm it's gonna say if current ID equals zero. Oh wait it doesn't because we already added one so we're gonna go down we're gonna say wait is the current ID uh, equal to global dot length and if it is that means it's the tail and if it's not that means it's the body which it's gonna run this which is just gonna add one more to it so let's go ahead and play it let's put everything in our room put the controller and we'll put our snake here and we'll play it and there we go we have and actually there's no gap because I set the move snap here to 32 by 32 so if I take that out you can see there will be a gap yeah there's a little gap there but I actually want to move move snap because it's gonna make it so that it will in uh, aligns itself with um, with the coins that we make so basically there it is that's that's a length of two snake so if we set this to five four five there we go so that's the length of five and I you can see it easier if I you know don't put the move snap on there one two three four five there we go and that is going in the direction of zero so if we set this to say three down it would go down yep so one two three four five how cool is that that's pretty cool now let's go ahead and do that we're gonna do movement now and movement is pretty simple actually in this sub event of our controller all I'm gonna say is if keyboard check pressed BK right global dot dir equals zero and I'm gonna go ahead and copy in this our little cheat sheet here whoops into here so we can just kind of see it so we're gonna copy and paste this so left up and down so this will be one this will be two and this will be three so now, as you can see, if we play the game, we 
we've got a nice little movement here. How cool is that? Let's make let's make the length super big. Just to see what it would be like. So let's say 15. And you can make the speed bigger by making the alarm smaller. Yeah, that's a 15 by 15 snake. That's pretty awesome. So go ahead and like, go and subscribe. Next tutorial, we're going to be adding in coins and, you know, getting with collision detection. And actually, there's a problem here. If we're going right and we hit left, it can actually go through itself, which is which is weird, which we need to fix. That will, will be a problem, but that's pretty easy to fix. So go ahead and like, go and subscribe. I will see you guys next tutorial. Um, let's try and hit this up to 25 likes. That's a lot. All right, I will see you guys next time. Peace.